my original idea came from the doorman. I saw this and I thought it was awesome. Just a face creepily staring at you. And this one has uh, mechatronic eyes, which I intend to build at some point, but I figured it was a lot of work for the effect and it would also be cool to replace this thing with screens and give it a mouth and give it a sensor which can track your face. So then I went looking for a nice mask. That's when I found this one. Thanks a lot for sharing the beard bot. I downloaded this one and I imported it into FreeCAD. I wanted to have uh, eyes just LCD displays. So I cut a few spaces for the eyes into this model. That's when it starts to get creepy. Like before it was kind of nice, but at this point it starts to get creepy. This reminds me a little bit of that scene from The Office. So yeah, it's creepy enough. We print a little version to see if it actually prints. Yeah, I'm happy with this. And look at those organic supports, wow. So by using pliers, we can remove the last pieces of filament that we don't need from the supports. And now we print the real deal. It barely fits on my Prusa i3, but it fits. It took 12 hours to print. And again, with the wonderful supports, look at that, it's so pretty. Of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jens, you go, man. Oh. <laughs> it has a nice crunch. Can you show the results of your cracking work. I'm happy with this print. Looks great. And it was partially printed on solar power. Wow! Man, soldering all this stuff together is so tedious. I should look into ways to avoid all that soldering. Anyway, all the pieces inside of the hat were put together with hot glue. I looked into 3D printing clips where I could put the components in and it was so much work. So I just used hot glue. And with everything in place, it was time for the first test. Okay, everything's wired up and soldered. We have a USB connector now on our very pretty cord. Look at this. Beautiful. We're gonna test it. We power it up. We have at least one eye, so something is working. Oh, well, through the magic of trying to turn it on again, now the mouth does work, haha, -ha, trust me, I know what I'm doing. What do you think? I like it. So the problem with the eyes and the mouth not coming on was because I was missing a condenser for the power supply. Rookie mistake. Anyway, here you can see the face tracking keeps looking straight at you. And there's the switch, the rocker switch, that determines happy or angry. After all this time, I've done it. And we can hang this on the wall and leave the project behind us. Awesome. And look, we can turn it to not friend. I'm happy. Good morning, baby. Ah! I'm so scared. I really need a drink now. Friend! 